All right. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the opening match. Season 53, for me anyway, and I guess for the A Division. Playing Shad. Um, I don't remember if Shad's been up to A before. I want to say no, but... I'm not one hundo on that. Guess we're just waiting. I can hit ready, I suppose. Hate my readiness. Particular. So, do we have an native? Shad. Negative. Uh. Uh, Bobby DJ, Kazu, Lemon, myself. That's a I don't have any to fill time. I hope you're all doing well. Having a good day. Or time of day it happens to be where you are. Make small talk talk with empty air. Weather weather's improved significantly versus the previous heat. Don't know how long it'll last. All right, a game. The good lucks have been delivered. Well, I haven't gotten one. Okay, now I feel good. All right, now I'm ready to have my luck. Chad has his luck. We're all lucked out. Um. Yeah, I mean, probably if they're a track, like, probably do the build just because you don't want to be the person or build the engine. I mean, it's gonna be kind of awful. Just won a lot of diplomats. Um, berserkers, bridge trolls, farming villages, etc. I guess you don't have to go so heavy on bridge trolls. You can just go on bridge bridges. Of course, the bridge trolls a little more uh, action friendly. I mean, it, it requires fewer action. Get get the pr price reduction. They didn't get the money. Anyway, uh, I don't I don't imagine that. I don't imagine that rebuild really count. If I had to guess. Maybe it does. You can do rebuild rogue. You can get duchies back. You don't necessarily have to keep buying duchies. That's kind of nice. The The questions are like, how much do the attacks hurt you? And how long does the engine take to go, given that they have to... There's no trashing. Those are the open questions. I mean, on the opening, I guess you're not really constrained too much in any case. You can probably just take Silver Bridge and be relatively happy. Um, I do the ball bridge thing. Maybe we'll just push me straight to the engine. I don't really think you take Farming Village next. Um... I get to do this, uh, which is pretty good. I could even gain two of them, um, two berserkers, if I wanted to. Let me think about it. Hmm. 
Hmm. They're probably pretty good. Berserker doesn't work with the um, bridge stuff because it's cheaper, gain it cheaper. Doesn't function quite the same way, but. We want free supplies. They're not like obviously bad. They're not obviously good either, but. Maybe Shad also got the. No. Shad's draws were. Uh, I'm still not clear on the supplies. Though. Hmm, I'm not really clear on the double berserker either. I'll probably take nothing here. I am a little worried that like a million supplies is kind of overkill. It's not friendly with diplomat, except that you're probably getting berserkered some. So in that case, it's probably still fine. Not really that harmful. Couple two, you can like when you get berserker, even if you don't hold the horses, you can discard the horses, and they're they're not in your opening hand. You probably still get some use out of them. I don't know. There's different things. Which don't. I don't know. They don't, I mean, I feel fine about having a couple of them. Maybe, maybe they were worse than nothing, but. I get a nice draw here. Really nice draw. I don't find a farming village here. I have some potential. This on the reshuffle is pretty killer. Like this is, I hate how this is ordered. It's confusing, but the farming village, this is like an insane farming village to get. <laughs> it's like maybe a game winning farming village. Uh, Is is pretty insane. Let's see if they take the berserker. I would not mind them hitting me with a berserker here. It gives me a little better chance of activating diplomat. I don't know if that's good, but we. I was gonna see if we find. Okay. Um, I can ball out. We bottom deck, I don't know, we'll see if they get around to their bridge troller playing and then tack or anything. Otherwise, I'll just berserk her. And this is this is the issue with the berserkers. Potential issue with the They don't have a lot of dip. I unfortunately do not have a berserker or not a berserker diplomat. Why is it showing a minus one? Oh yeah, that's how that works. I forgot bridge troll gives you minus one. I'm like, what? I like, I didn't ball. But. Yeah, I mean, you can have a bunch of bridge. I don't get the bridge trolls actually. Those seem actively terrible to me. Terrible is probably too strong, but I'm gonna do my best to empty the diplomats here. Um. And uh, then what? They don't have a deck. Whoa.
Not really, anyway. No, I may not have much of a deck either, but... Maybe we can draw one of the... We didn't. Well, I guess we could draw two terminals and still hit off. Uh, we'd have to hit... Okay, so we do get there. This is one of those... Well, I don't know that the activation is necessary bad for them. Maybe Shad will be good enough on duchies to win here. I don't know. I'll probably trigger this. I mean, it doesn't have any... I'll have to think. Maybe I don't trigger it. Because um, all I really want to do is buy a... We're in this, this is kind of funny, <laughs> like, they have a lot of bridge trolls that they're not playing on, um, I can't wait here, I mean, the only thing I'm really getting out here is probably a farming village, so there are potentially some other nice things to get. There's still more diplomats in there. Not totally sure. Um, we're definitely rapidly approaching. Actually, you know what I can do? Instead of that, I can train something. And maybe that'll give me enough money to buy provinces to make myself scary. I don't know, but... Like, now the horses are pretty friendly. Chad's big goal is probably just to get the duchies cheap or something, but that's still kind of hard, to be honest. Um, I don't... The bridge trolls are still kind of baffling to me. I mean, I guess it helps with the thing I said about getting the duchies, but... I don't know. It's it's really kind of a weird We don't really have that many villages either. There's like a dream draw where I berserker and they hit like a couple diplomat act activation. Four or five cost reduced. Still just hard. So they're lowering, but they don't really. Um, I guess I put the bridges in rather than the farming villages. I'm not 100% on that. Um. I think maybe the last card is a diplomat, which would have been way better to find rather than because we'd get another uh, activation out of this. This is okay, not great, but I 
Mm. I don't have the berserkers. Well, I don't really need them. Say. We just like ball for a couple duchies. Hmm. Buying a state. What are the odds we get through the through the deck here? That's super good. Does lowering supplies help me or hurt me? Not clear. Remains unclear. Uh, you probably end up with like a Dutch. I'm going to take the estate. I don't think there's any way we, um, how does diplomat work? This is potentially a little harmful. Could be some filtering. The hand's pretty good already. I don't really have terminals down in here. Um, there's a bridge uh, so it's not like super critical that I guess we can just discard the horses and we'll just have them in the deck if we get to a reshuffle they'll probably do pretty good stuff we're going on the estates huh I'm not going to play an attack on them this turn, so. It's not. I may have enough to shuffle. I don't really want to. But. <clears throat> we could quad duchy. Well, would have been pretty nice. Honestly, duchy, quad duchy is pretty good because Shad's not any good at doing, gaining other things, frankly. Um, besides the states, like there's, there's no shot Shad buys a province. <laughs> so then there will only be seven, but yeah, I think we just quad duchy. Like Shad, Shad cannot buy province it's just not and we have the berserkers back in buzzer berserkers berserkers we have those cards back in the deck <clears throat> um which is helpful. Oh, wow, we have the horses. Look at these horses. Yeah, this will be game. If not literally game immediately, it'll be game in essence. So what do we... What is the easiest pile out? We have $5. We can just get in this state. Do it that way. Huh, I'm clicking too much. Chad I could have stopped <laughs> clicking. Okay, so that was Shad's start. I think uh I was not a fan of deck composition there for Shad. I don't know how else to to put it. It just looked Basically non-functional. Which I guess is kind of harsh, but... What does Band of Nomads do? It's the weird one. Well, whoops. Neon desk. Five two is a little odd. Not totally sure. I 
importer looks probably pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty necessary. And temple, which none of that is stuff you necessarily have to open with, but I guess I could open Temple Fool's Gold. I don't really think that's probably very good, but there's at least some some idea of synergies there. The other thing is just to open Highwayman and I don't know. Witch's Hut, Relic. They're all reasonable. They're the fives are good. The first scholar. The uh temple. Temple of Fool's Gold isn't insane. I'm gonna do Highwayman with the Nomad activation. Hopefully we find the high. I probably will take a fool's gold. I mean, the only thing about the fool's gold here is that you can use it to buy city quarters, which is kind of nice. I do think the three, four is better here. I think simple importer looks like a nicer opening than what I'm going to do here or even double importer. Um, my highwayman misses, so that's super awful. Um, uh, I don't need. I guess I could get a fool's gold. Sure, why not? The fool's golds are just there to buy. Which is, you know, something. Need a temple. Don't hit a whole lot. We could go temple fool's gold. This is such a weird deck that I'm quote unquote building the generous description um because it's gonna be really bad for like forever for like a just a long long time uh i guess i'll take a liaison what do we i could take a card yeah sure i'll take a card Wow, look at me. This is kind of exciting, actually. So far as, in so far as these things can be. Pretty sad to not play the temple. At some point, we're going to lost art something. Probably the emissaries. Maybe the witch's hut. My deck is just a mess. I love it though. It's horrible. It's like super bad. <laughs> um I don't need more city quarters. Or I mean I don't need more um Schools. Look at that. That's a good turn. I don't know. Uh, I may try. I'm kind of up in the air between trashing and the nice thing here is that this does give us an emissary activation. And a city quarter, well, I don't know. 
They're just a lot thinner than me, I guess. Maybe not. They've only trashed twice. That's a, that's not not. Uh, I guess we take the plus, take the favors and stuff. We end up drawing the same with City Cool. Uh, what do we want? We can buy two things, or we can lost arts. Plus temple, I guess. That's kind of cool. These decks are so funny. I'm going to get a bunch of emissaries here. It wouldn't be totally wild to get like the I'm not sure I'd go that far in debt as Chad, but card. Ooh, that's real nice. <laughs> that's super nice. Uh more emissaries. Okay. Highwayman. We probably trash here. I mean it's not crazy to play the importer. Of course. Hmm. Do we get the importer? The thing about Shad going in debt there is that it's really maybe they can get enough money, but it's pretty hard for them to buy lost arts anytime soon, which I think is pretty important. Now maybe they can get the draws to do it. I mean, yeah, if you hit the city quarters, then... Then by golly, you got yourself a turn. I'm gonna assume you lost city something, but what do I know? Um, my importer gain is gonna be a little fuzzy. Really, from here on out, I'm mostly not. Mostly just buying provinces. I don't think Witch's Hut is super good. Um, I 
Of course, it's fine. I don't think it's super good, though. I also don't think you need more fool's gold. There's like a limit to how much money you can spend here, a little bit anyway. I guess that's not true. But, I don't know. What do I want? Uh, and I can take the fool's gold. Does that put any risk of three piles? Not sure that that's correct. Come on. Uh, this was a rotten draw. There's like five emissaries in here. <laughs> but so be it. Does this city quarter help me much? I would have liked to buy a temple or getting the temple to be honest. I think I just take nothing here. This was pretty sad because this is there are a ton of emissaries down here. That may have been bad. I, I felt like I could chart a path to winning if I um, if I had drawn there. I felt like I could get in a winning position, but not to be. The shadow draw deck here curse me. And I mean the curse is like plus one as long as you end the game, but that's all it is. They're gonna trash the curses. Oh, it gives you emissary activations. That's the other that's the other forgot that. Silly me. So maybe from this point Shad can path a pretty safe or find a pretty safe path to winning. Because this is going to be kind of hard for me. That sucks. Oh, well. What do you do, like province, province, temple? That seems reasonable. Um, no, they do do that there. Now the question is, do I need to start taking duchies to make up points, or is that not a big deal? Um... have you guys could get a relic probably not super good the only other thing is the witch's hut which again is is like plus one point plus some emissary activations which is not nothing that was really unfortunate <laughs> And I didn't draw through. I'm not sure the witch's hut is all that good. But these have been... The city quarters have just not been explosive at all. <clears throat> this all works out, though, so... Okay. 
We actually need that activation. Well, if you don't play the Witch's Hut, then you don't need it. It kind of pays for itself, action-wise, with the Lost City. Um, we're going to have to count money here a little bit. I wonder if it's possible to get to 24. This is uh, 17. Tools goals are 17, and then... Um, yes, yeah, so we're not that far off from... Triple. <clears throat> we should probably try and stay within bidding distance of it. So you assume you're going to be under a high. So we're really at like 21 right now. I guess you can go down to 20 if you're going to gain a couple relics. you can still go like and still go temple double promise so that puts them at five and then I don't think there was like a pile out. So it wasn't. Wait a minute. I kind of like taking the temple with the city quarters. It should be fine. You get the points. This is terrifying hand. <laughs> Maybe the temple is... <laughs> if you find at least one city core, then it's fine. But I guess the thing I could have gained there was like... Um... I mean, I could have gained another highwayman for the witch's hunt. We will get to draw a couple. We don't have to play all the temples, so we don't need all the actions or the import. Like, if we're finishing, we don't have to play everything. That's fine. Um... The curse just shouldn't matter too much. I think if I draw, I'm okay. It's just I'm not guaranteed to draw. Unfortunately. Why can't I just be simply guaranteed to my deck work the way I want it? All the time. What did they gain on their other importer? They did get the relic. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to feel it. I'm going to get to see some extra cards. I'm going to get to see four cards. Um, we'll see if it's enough. But. I 
I don't even know. It's not 100% clear to me. Well, it depends on what they do here, of course. I'll have to count it up to see whether or not triple is, is even safe for me. Like if they go single, three duchies or something, do they have a Probably have enough, roughly. Well, maybe not. They have the 17. They have the same as me. They have the 17 from the Fool's Gold. So, yeah, they can't triple duchy. Pro they could double duchy province, um, which would put them at 27. If I go up to 36. Yeah, that's pretty doable still. We're going to have to dance a little bit more. Unfortunately, I think. It's not clear anyone will be able to lower to three. I mean, you can do it and hope your opponent doesn't try. So if you don't lower to three, then what do we pile? I mean, eventually we pile on the curses and the importers or something like that. I guess the emissaries. Or duchies and curses, maybe. Duchies and curses and temple. Real possibility. Yeah, because I can't go... Down to one. I don't think that'll be safe. Not that. It, not in the situation. Well, I mean, okay. I'm actually going to score two more. Though that's going to come back if they had their turn. So you think I can't really count that against the score? I should just assume I have two curses. How many witches huts? Um. Buy another province, Shad. Just go for it. Convince yourself somehow that it's required. Must buy the other province. The only question is, like, if, if I go get a bunch of duchies now... Silver is a little weird. Um, maybe it's not. They have one importer down. Uh, let's see what, what our highwayman, oh my goodness. Not good. Super not good. <laughs> Verifying. I mean, I guess we at least have a lot of money, kind of. We get quad duchy here, right? Something like, I mean, maybe even more. Empty the duchies. Empty duchy doesn't seem super safe. I don't know. They, there's limits on how many... We don't have a way to like empty two things, do we? It certainly empty the emissaries. Ooh. How many? We can get to four. What's the max? We can gain two. We can get up to six favors this turn. Potentially. Six favors is not that useful. Well, cute. So we're like, I'm gonna, this is going to be another 40 minutes. I'm not going to do 40. I won't do that to chat. I mean, I might do it, but I probably won't do it. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Well, let's, let's say we have quad duchy and we're at 30. Plus a little more, maybe. Question is, does that open up the pile? Of let's say one duchy seems pretty okay. Okay. We have a city quarter. And then the question is whether we need to get like the relic or something to have the plausible threat of triple, maybe. He'd believe it. Another action. Oh, okay. So do we play the emissary in hopes that we draw at least two more actions? As long as it replaces, it's, you know, it's fine. When it doesn't replace, then, then, then. I'm fine. Okay, so we can activate here and then get another. So this this worked out. It may be um it may be super losing but sort of worked out. So all you need so they have one they have one importer. One importer. I'm a little worried about them piling out like duchies and emissaries or something. Frankly. <clears throat> Which I guess I can just take temple as a cheaper thing. Um, what what was the other question? The question was like, if I get up to can't empty, what do I have? Seventeen, nineteen, twenty. Can't empty the duchies. I mean, I could have if I had taken not a re well. Then I wouldn't have the money. But yeah, that's sort of splitting the. I don't know what that. Means. Um, 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 Chad goes triple province duchy. And Chad goes triple. Does Chad have to use their importer to get money to triple province? Okay, that, I think that's true. Maybe not. They bought a silver. What were they at here? 21. Yeah, I think it is true, actually. Um... In which case, it's not clear on keeping the. In which case, Shad would have to take a money. Shad would go up to. Probably try. I guess it'd go up a little bit more than that. I think it's catchable. I'm just going to pretend like it's catchable. I don't know if it actually is catchable. Oh, we would have had 20 without the relic. So yeah, we could have we could have emptied the duchies here. Though I think that would have been Scary. This may end up being scary anyway, frankly. What is, is they can go like, they have 22, so they can go 9. Yeah, they can just beat me here, can't they? Can't. They're just going to empty, well, okay. 
And maybe I'm in a spot where I need to play for a dud. What does Annex do? That doesn't help me. <laughs> Why is Annex so bad? Um... I guess I could get a silver, but I don't think I need that necessarily. In theory, Shad has less draw than me, right? Or not in theory, but like, excuse me. Like, in fact. Sort of. I mean, not <laughs> the witch's huts, right? I mean, he definitely has less draw. I mean, he has two fewer emissaries and one more witch's hut, but... The Comparison there isn't a hundred percent clear. We have the best same number city core. Uh did have like quite a few cards over and drawn. Ooh. Boo. They probably don't have to. I guess there's a world where they don't get the sequencing right to get enough tokens and stuff. How much money do they need? 23 to win. 23 dollars. Do they have 23 dollars? They probably do. They had. 21 and they added silver. They do have $23, which is unfortunate. And they are going to get all the activation you need. So I think this is just GG. I think they can empty stuff. I don't know if I don't take it, if it really changes much. It's unfortunate, though. I should activate for style, but you never know. Maybe they don't see it. <laughs> I don't know. Was there a line? I could, of course, not have lowered the duchies as far. Um, but that doesn't really change it, right? They still can just empty. They can just buy duchy instead of prominent. Oh yeah, they don't need $23. They need like way less than $23. <laughs> because of the annex. Um $5 less than 23. Yeah. That was pretty well doomed. I don't know that I had it out other than um playing for dud. I mean, my buys were not playing for a dud, so I should have changed my buys. Because if if they have all that when when they uh I just have to play for I guess in my defense playing for a dud if I had played for a dud I would have I mean if he had dudded I probably would have been able to pile out with the things I did as well. I just think I could have taken like two provinces cards. I don't know what happened to Shad. What if I flicker the green? Do, 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 do. 
Do, 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 do. Did Shad? What happened? Hello? What happened to Shad? We'll never know. Investment. I don't know if I played a person with investment. I guess you can make it worth a lot of points. and not You're not going to do it, but you could. Forest dwellers. What is forest? You can do forest dwellers, settler, synergy. Boom. Too strong. I have. I hate these. Uh, I hate rolling. I guess it doesn't. I hate rolling these five twos with the sentinel. Always kind of feels bad. I mean, I could go for the counterfeit. It wouldn't be. Wouldn't be out of. Wouldn't be totally insane. Spends a favor. Oh, I get to spend a favor. What does Forest Dwellers do? Let's do it. Boom. All right. That makes me feel even actually more better about maybe taking a counterfeit. Um, so it can just be the Sentinel. What are we doing here? I mean, you can try to get a bunch of groundskeepers. Not a very good board. Actually, it's fine board, but it's you know, it's 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 okay. I guess you can just try to get a lot of groundskeepers and then buy. I don't know. Chad drew their sentinel. No good. No good. Very bad. Don't 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 like. No like. Uh, uh, I don't really know how I feel about the investment. My Sentinel sucks. Sort of. It was fine. They play Sentinel again. They play Sentinel and investment. This is a little bit unfair. It's okay. I still don't know what you do on this board. Time span. Or I guess they're going to buy silver. I don't know what I'll buy. Great for the poor houses. This was a very good draw. If you complain enough about your draws, they get better. This is literally like you would stack for this. That's pretty funny. Uh, da, 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 da. Poor house, huh? Big believer in the poor houses. Hmm. I still don't know. One of those poor houses. Eyes of workers, you gotta have the, you, you know, you gotta have the work. You just never know when you're gonna. Some workers. I guess you can trash down and play two, three poor houses. That's your life. What are we doing here? I still don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, 
we could get a poor house. We could join the party, so to speak. The classic poor house contract counterfeit deck. We've been talking about it. And I don't I don't blame them. Like look at it. What am I doing? I don't know how to play this more. It would be pretty nice to have ten dollars somehow. I don't know that that's super in the cards. Um So, but maybe what do you, what do you keep? I guess you can trash investment. Point. Maybe use investment to trash Sentinel. Get some points just for like the fun of it, you know. Would have been cool if we didn't have the copper. Then we'd probably get everything we want here, but. There's still some chance of getting most of what we want here. Three poor, they're, they're all about it. Okay, so what we have. Sentinel. What did I buy? Bought another settler. It's just another settler, so this just doesn't mean anything. This is just for fun. That was just the excitement of it. can spend one of my things to make sure I don't draw the contract and do that. Chad's decks for how much trashing Chad did at the start, Chad's deck is not as thin as mine. I don't get fifty poor houses. I mean at some point it doesn't um Help you at all. Whatever. We could counterfeit the contract, I suppose. I don't know what happens when you counterfeit contract. Oh, you can't. You simply cannot do it. It is illegal. We should try. I'm going to click. I uh, didn't. Make they thought of everything. So. I'm still just not super worried about not having 30 grants or 34 houses. I think. At the end of the day, we unfortunately did draw the counterfeit in hand. But I mean, that's pretty good. I don't know how often that'll happen, but that's pretty exciting. I wonder if Shad just is like, I'm going for the provinces. Let's get them. Or if Shad's like, let's buy a couple groundskeepers. the rest of these poor houses we can't let we can't let my opponent have any of these poor houses they're too poor well it was not take all the poor houses in the get to keep my precious I'm gonna play the groundskeeper just in case you know I change my mind and decide to buy 
of those. <clears throat> I'm going to use the Force Dwellers to avoid drawing my thing. Just only has two buy there, not a lot of buy, frankly. I'm going to use the Forest Dwellers to do this. Do I even have enough actions? That's another reasonable question. Uh, without a super clear answer. Goodbye, contract. It turns out... Um, it turns out that the answer is... Yes, I have enough well to play two of them then I gotta play a different thing and then it doesn't work out perfectly in fact I have to play both of them assuming I want to play my things so I, I am a little village maybe a little village stuff at I don't know that I'm going to correct that this instant. I'm more likely to just double groundskeeper here. If Shad can like stack their deck, they can produce a pretty insane amount of payload, but. Um, Prior to that, I don't think using the forest dweller here matters at all. I need another worker's village, but I probably won't get it until. Well, I'll get it right now, I guess. I guess I don't really need another worker's village that. I'm only gonna have eleven dollars. Isn't super good. Ten dollars. I'm not always like. I haven't. I haven't completely nailed this addition thing down. Got it totally figured out yet. To be honest, it's not. It's a work in progress. Oh, this looks bad. There's like a, re like I can lower the workers' villages and then just get potentially blown up um, in a not fun way. I don't, I don't know, I don't really have a great understanding of their deck. This was a lot of the workers' villages, so but maybe they have minstrels to get around to it. Keep drawing, keep drawing these darn counterfeits in the opening hand. I have like, I have like some techniques to... Oh shoot, they found a bunch of found a bunch of found a menstrual. That's not good. Okay, that's not terrible. This is this is workable. It's not great, but it's workable. Maybe. We'll we'll see. <laughs> uh because they're gonna have a bunch of buy next turn. So not so many groundskeepers. Um I can do a better job of like playing all my groundskeepers than Shad can do. That's the I guess that's my advantage at the moment. I don't know. This I'll probably use a forest dwellers here. Uh it, it it's not super likely to do really great things for me, but if it finds a contract then great. I would have loved to just not have the counterfeit in my hand at one point, but I'm only gonna see one 
I guess we could discard a poor house, but it, that's, it feels not great. We want to at least... I guess this doesn't even hit... And my deck is kind of stupid. Uh, On the other hand, the only stop card is another poor house or contract. We're going to get at least to... Um, I need a way of discarding cards for my... What we need. What we truly need. I guess I could have stopped even without enough actions. I wouldn't have... Great. Okay. What does this leave us with? We could contract. Dang. Otherwise, we're going to draw until we find the poorhouse. We'll get another $2. That's 11 isn't that exciting? Deck is really bad. Holy cow. So is Shad's deck though. Just it's really bad in a different way and it they're really bad is better. So I'm gonna leave it. What do what are the advantages here of contract should play contract should be like Royal Gal. That's what contract needs. It should be like Royal Galley. You play it and then set it as Why did I buy a card? I can go. What does Duchy Double Estate do for me here? That's like 755. Five. That's 17 points. Versus province, a theme is 10. We can get up to 10 and do province estate, which is 15. Just let's make Shad panic, because Shad is always panic. You know how Shad is, always panicking. Can't can't seem to stop panicking. This is a lot of buy. Not not best pleased with this. I mean, at least they didn't get to play the last poor house. I guess. Not a lot of groundskeepers. Uh. They have a way better deck for like either angle. <laughs> the angle that kind of runs estates or the angle that takes provinces one at a time. I pretty much have to do the estate thing. And I don't actually have that much buy, so it's not really my only good the only good thing I have going for me in that direction is that I have the uh I have more groundskeepers. I have more deck control. So I have a better shot of like playing. You know. Well, that was a super, super cool. That was a good menstrual, kind of. I mean, no real complaints. I guess I should have played the... Well, there wasn't any risk yet. I mean, it wasn't a misplay, per se. Man, come on. Well, at least we found one of them. If we find both workers' villages and we do four estates with five groundskeepers, I feel pretty good. Um, this I feel less pretty good about. What can we do here? We can go province, estate, estate. How risky is that? I mean, Shad... I don't know. Shad's deck's kind of terrible. It could just be a bunch of terrible stuff. You could go Dutchy Dutchy Estate. Um, 
I mean, Duchy Duchy Estate risks. Stuff. I can score a lot. Maybe it should just be Purple Estate. You score a lot. That part's pretty cool. Yeah, this is this is the one thing I have going for me. Um that I could actually play the cards I bought. I did not have to do the deck the way he did. So there was a time when he could have gone for the more gold thing. I don't feel bad about winning that one. We got a second player advantage match going on so far. You just have seven poor houses and kind of a smattering of other stuff. I don't know. I was scared. Perhaps unjustified. When are we going to open Tmog old map or are we going to open... What do you do here? I mean, it's kind of a traditional draw kind of thing, really. So you have expand grave robber payload stuff. I don't know. Can you make use of voyages and, and such? I haven't tried to do voyage in quite some time, to be honest. I don't know. I think um, Sunken Treasure is probably pretty good here. I would say. The... Uh, a pretty bad redraw but or even really a reason scouting part they buy another old map and it's not you know it's whatever guess we trigger this and make sure there's an estate Shad did get the turn three T Mog. Goes for another old map. Shad says, I'm going to have control of the things. I hope Shad just rotates it back around to what it was. <laughs> um, hopefully, we don't draw another state. This was very good. I am happy. I'm going to treasure it pretty cool here. Maybe even cool enough to get two. I don't know. When did Shad get a sunken treasure? Oh, they bought one. That, that buying stuff, I don't see. Uh, this would be a pretty... Awful time to get a doctor. This for the expanded. I would rather have gotten an old map. Of course, there's no old map. Not really a world. Map was a thing. We can scout. Uh, I guess we're using. Wonder if. Wonder if you take not totally clear on what you take from your first treasure. I'm, I'm tempted. I mean, this the golem is the most stylish, even if a bit obvious, right? I still think it gets there, but it could. Very well be that expand is the better thing to get. 
I wouldn't shock me. Out. Do I rotate? Is it good to get a voyage? That's the, that's the other question is, can you just here? I actually think you probably can pretty well. Um, now, I didn't really have the money for it, so maybe I won't do that. To be honest, it doesn't matter. Shad can, Shad can rotate it there whenever he wants to. That's not, it's not holding Shad back. I would say very few things are. In fact. Um, well, decks are kind of bad. I kind of want a storyteller. Actually, more than anything, I want to play some cards. It would be cool to have a doctor at some point. No, you're going to. Expand is not, not bad at all. Golem. It's got to be Golem now. Come on. Come on. Got to do it. What's the, what are we even doing if we're not gaining Golems with our sunken treasures? I gained the most boring car on the board, but. That's not true. Storyteller can never be the most boring car on the board. That's, that's, that's not possible. Thought about silver to something, but I'm going to hit the story time. Sometimes you can speak things into existence, you know? That was the, that was the idea. I wonder if, uh, well, silver's not. If there was like a real three, I might be tempted to take Distant Shore and it's like a T-Mog combo. I don't know. Probably not really. It would have to be a pretty good three, actually, for it to probably pay off. Well, I think I'm going to just scouting party again. And I'm in scouting party a lot, which is not always the best sign ever. You can do storyteller midturn sunken treasure stuff gives you a little better um little little, little better control over what you can gain with it, which is cute. I should have I don't know what I do on my team on because like I would ideally just lose the old map, but I don't really want to lose the old map yet. It feels not great. This is pretty cool, though. Give credit for to do pretty neat stuff going on here. Get a grave robber? I don't know. That may be early. Pretty fun slash neat stuff. I do think Shad maybe could have been... I don't know. It's hard to anticipate this exact thing happening. <laughs> but maybe that's... too. I was going to say he maybe could have anticipated getting um, another sunken treasure somehow. That's going to be a little... It does look pretty likely at this point uh, that we're going to see yet another I can play or win. I think I'm a little bit at least a little bit off the pace, maybe a lot of bit off the pace. 
there's a lot of play, but what do I have left? Is there any any world where the where the doctor made sense here? Probably not. We can do storyteller raid. That's always super fun and usually not that good, but always super fun. You need a lot of expands before you really want to do that. Shad maybe could get away with it. Maybe. Hmm. Ooh, that's a good golem. That golem sure was good. Maybe they won't have any treasures. They have a bunch of silvers. This, discarding the silver is probably not. Hey, they are just playing coppers. On the other hand, I just give them the expand. So what do what do they care? Well, I have a. I'll probably teamog the teamog. Get festival, grave robber. <clears throat> Could get a herald. Get the herald. Well, I'm unfortunate. Ideally, I would have another story teller in hand, and I would. Get... That's not happening. Well, okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, I guess still pretty terrible. Continues to be mostly terrible. I mean, this wasn't terrible, terrible. There's still another storyteller down in the bottom to play everything. I'm not clear on advisor versus herald, to be perfectly honest. Actually, maybe I uh maybe I go for the voyage now. I kinda wanna gain and play if I ever do do the voyage. Just adding one doesn't seem super exciting. The heralds, of course, are kind of awful. Let's buy one. <laughs> uh, you don't really never really know where they're sitting at as far as actions and stuff, but I guess I'll give them non-draw. They probably have that golem again. That darn golem, I tell you what. Sure is a... Thorn in my side. You know where my golem is in the deck. There's no mystery there. It's sitting right at card number 15 or 16. There's there's no doubt. Doubt in my mind. Raid. Oh, they did raid. Look at that. Raid. Classic blunder, playing raid so that my herald activates. Some people just don't understand the nuances. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. We want another expand. That's pretty good. Is there anything good in the trash? Not really. I mean, I guess in the old map wouldn't be terrible. You probably just take expand while you can. Um. We draw. Okay, so it was not. If this is in order, it was like number. I don't think. It's, oh, it's the shuffle rule. Yeah, but it was down there. It was way. So, are there fun and neat things that I can do here with Golem? Yes, no, maybe. We can get the... I feel like I just have to go for the Voyage just for the... Doesn't really work <laughs> the way I intended it to, but can get two voyages. Let's just be voyage person. Let's just say I believe in voyage. This is the kind of board, <clears throat> look at this, because of Golem, so lucky. This is the kind of board where you can get, oh, this window is weird. It should show two expands. Um, Uh, three doesn't do a lot for me. I can scouting party though. That's fun. Should I get? Should I replace my storyteller. Storyteller is like really bad for the um. Really quite bad for the. Voyage turns for the voyage turns, but it's okay for the it's okay in other ways. Maybe we just do take the gray robber. I'm trying to think. I mean, I can just take the rest of the voyages. I don't know if they're that good. <laughs> um, but maybe. need to replace my T-Mogs. There's a lot of things I need to do out here. Maybe we let Shed have one. Like, he should get... Shed should get one. And there should be... You know, he should get something. I think. What are we trying to accomplish here? I mean, I could... Uh, I can guarantee gaining another sunken treasure... Or I can press onward for trying. Let's do. Let's do at least that as the. Oh, I have to do three. There's probably a silver. Maybe not. Uh, yeah. Okay. Whatever. This isn't so clear to me. We can we can get 
We can hunt for the the sunken treasure. Or we can try to find we'd have to find silver. I'm not even sure there is a silver. I'm not even sure there's a silver. I guess alternatively we can just buy a last voyage. If we don't find the, the sunken train. We didn't find the sunken train. Okay. Well doesn't matter huge. What are we looking at now? Chad will probably be able to do a lot of this stuff on their turn. This didn't work out. Well, the turns were great. I mean, they were great voyage turns. I just didn't, I didn't maybe make all the right, all the most right choices. Is more the thing. Let's get another golem and buy a silver. I think the silvers are still pretty good. I could have voyaged. That wouldn't have been crazy. That would not have been crazy. I can probably make pretty decent use of, of like a stack of sunken treasure. I think that's all just pretty good here. But they don't. For a grave robber. The grave robber now, of course, has some really nice stuff to target at this stage. <clears throat> um. Maybe they get back around to it anyway. I'm not sure. They probably have another storyteller. Maybe not, actually. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to start greening, probably. Chad does still have the herald. Yeah. Those pesky heralds. Always announcing stuff. Listen, this is... Updecking uh, Storyteller is actually pretty bad. This is... Like, this, is, this can't possibly be, like, good rating. Or not good rating. Good, uh... Good voyaging. Like, what are you going to do? Storyteller, silver, silver? <laughs> well, okay. I guess if you just draw the sunken treasure out of your 30 free card deck, so be it. That's what I call a real bummer. But for me, I mean, for Shad, it's great. Okay. Okay. What am I doing? I'm going to have not great times. Probably. Oh, but we have the golems. Okay. The golems, that's where it's at. I wish I had a sunken treasure in my probably skip past um I don't like this interface at all. Reveals silver. Interesting. Now what's left, there's like well, it's not like playing any of the other stuff's good. There's it's a voyage that's just gonna like do nothing. 
Um, which is fine. This is my very first voyage turn. Okay. What? <clears throat> what am I going to gain from the Herald? Probably a grave robber. I'm like all in on this remodel. While you can thing. I don't even know what that means. But. This is like the same thing here, right? I'm going to get to the sunken treasure and then... I, when I say the same thing here, I mean the same thing as my last Sitch. situation. Uh, I could get a thing where a thing is a distant shore, but I think it's probably pretty bad, to be honest. The question is, do we just go for Golem, or do we get the, the, um, wow, this is not really what I wanted to see. We'll make do. This could be, this could very, very easily be a double terminal. It. <clears throat> like super easily wasn't though so that's cool I don't know why Shad got so many silver <laughs> I mean <laughs> you can do the raid storyteller thing but you don't do it mi I don't know you didn't do it mixed in with all this um I wouldn't do it mixed in with all this other junk. Uh, da, 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 da. <clears throat> Excuse me. It didn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't know here. I could find a storyteller, right? It's like possible. Maybe it's not. I think I scouted the storyteller that's left out. I'm not sure, though. Um... I'm kind of down to just have the grave robber. Okay, so that ended up not working out perfectly. Well, to be honest, it worked out really, really good. I shouldn't... Like, it worked out so, so, so good. Sure, I'll I'll put in that. Crash a card, or gain a card from the from the trash. Let's just get a grave robber. I think it's Harold or Grave Robber Voyage left. Man, this deck rules. This is the best deck anybody has ever built. I'm I'm joking, but I'm only like half joking. So I could either 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 duchy or raid a bunch. Raid a bunch gives me better chance of like double provincing or provincing the next couple 
Hunt and raid, you know what I mean. I'm feeling good about the scouting party decision, given what we've just seen and uncovered. It's it's looking pretty good. Um, just put a grave robber on top, right? That's got to be the thing. And then see. Actually, maybe it's not. That was the end of my actions. I did forget that. Yeah, it, it's not that. It's this. It's, I thought I had more actions. I guess we just put grave rubber on top in there. Huh. That's gonna be ball game. The Shad's deck does something that it can super not actually do. Uh, I don't think it really matters a whole lot. I think he's probably getting through. I think it won't be enough. I hope. A lot of points to do on one regular turn and one, uh, one voyage turn. I'm going to say no, but been wrong before. They do have another maybe not. No, they just have the one. Thirty points is a lot of points. It's like like a really large point. Like a very big, big number. Oh, I broke the, I think I broke. They're getting, they're getting within spitting distance. I just don't think the, the voice turn is going to have enough in it. They don't know that I already have it in. I got I got so lucky with the voyage turns. I on I don't know. These boards are always weird. I mean, you can just be like, oh, I'm going to try to have a lot of mystics or 
I guess that's really the only thing you can have a lot of. Or you can just be like, I'm going to have golds and gears and churches. Probably vampire is pretty good. Just, I don't know. It's weird. I don't really like the salvager that much. But maybe we just won't buy invest. <coughs> this is the classic. I'll probably just gear and you can do the super big set aside. I guess that's an option. Get your get your ramp. Get your other ramp. We didn't draw any of it. We I just don't know what else you're doing here. It's not like I think that whatever I'm starting on here is like good, but <clears throat> like what else are you doing? Discard down to three. That isn't that isn't right. Boom, boom. I guess I'll do it like this. I got two mystics. Oh. Maybe they should have left it there. They probably should have left the mystic there. Yeah, maybe we need to invest. Yeah, I would have left it there. Obviously, now I'm just going to get a bunch of capitals or something. Diluted. That's dumb. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Well, what did I see in my last? It's like a bunch of estates. On that copper. What are we doing with this? All right, here's my idea. I didn't think Shad is going to suddenly empty them. He doesn't have a capital right. Wow, this is like, this board is. Why did I get hit them with the. Didn't even play Vampire. What are we doing? We could road networking. I don't hate that.
Maybe it's terrible. I did not get very many mystics. Unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can end up with as many, but... Curse? There's like one in here. Probably a bad wish. Uh, man, I've done something wrong here. Maybe everything. It could be a very high number of things that I've done wrong. Even if I hit two, I don't, yeah, there's not money. Imagine not having any money. Then I'm going to have some money, but you just set aside the other one, too. Pretty bad. Um, now they know. what's on top it was just like a friendly friendly omens maybe maybe even good omens what am i doing I could get a capital that's not insane You know what? They bought Ronak. That's my move. Any any good omens fans out there? Let me know. just kidding. Don't let me. Know. Um, I don't care if you're a fan. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, of the good omen. So there's like two mystics. There's like one mystic. There's like, there's some number of mystics. It's unclear. And then, I guess it's still the most is copper, as I have just been sort of not trashing copper for whatever reason. <clears throat> there are two bats. How do I guess bat? I can't even click on the bat pile. Who made this program? Um, and then I could stop and gear the mystic, this last mystic. On the other hand, if we draw more bats, maybe is good to have played the money. We probably have enough money. Okay. Yeah, this was the kind of uh, issue. We just do the mystic and two trashes. Kind of have to probably get the vampires at this point. Probably gonna need touchies to like make our comeback, our supposed comeback. Probably. We're going to just pass the capital around until we're ready to strike with it, you know? It's kind of kind of keeping it. Oh, they have a capital? Pretty good card. Empire Province, one assumes. Getting batty. I like they getting batty. That's pretty good. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. well, now it's mostly copper still, right? Some other stuff. 
copper and some other stuff. And then it could be vampires. There are two vampires. There are still like a lot more copper. So what we want to do here is just do this and then set aside whatever two cards we draw and then buy a province. And then really hope that Shad's deck doesn't do anything for maybe a turn, maybe two turns even. I think Shad still has the capital hanging out. So Shad certainly will be able to afford province if they want. Maybe double. I don't know. Double's really a stretch for either player, to be honest. Maybe if you like work really hard about setting it up, probably possible. Would I would even be down to have us go <clears throat> into a little bit of messiness. Dutchy dancing probably is in my favor. I wouldn't mind if Shad doesn't literally have double. I guess it's unlikely, but maybe it's possible. You could have it. Um, yeah, I would be okay with some dancing. Dancing of the Dutchies. Potentially hexes mean maybe question mark unsure how mean I'm not so terrible plague right now I would love to get hit by plague if I could pick one to get hit by it would be plague plague is the one I would choose I'm gonna have enough money for double or for enough gains for quad duchy and then I will sort of have amount of debt. We they have more. Oh, they have a sal. When did they buy? They played us. They bought that salvager at the very beginning, which I completely forgot about. <clears throat> I completely forgot about. This is really risky. Actually, I don't like this from from Shad. I thought they were gonna do something scarier than that. They play this salvager ever. They must have at some point. I, I completely whiffed on the salvager. I mean, that. We're not super far off from getting there. Would have been. I mean, not by any stretch. We really want to pull how many mystics do I have? This is all my green, so it's all that's left are mystics and coppers. Um Right, I didn't buy a silver I did buy it. Who has the silver? Chad has this. It's going to be a, like a correct way and a wrong way to do this, and I'm going to mess it up. <laughs> but I'll play the Mystic because I want to play next. But what are, what are the sequences where we actually get to the, the eight, get to the six? Um, if Mystic is on top... We're fine anyway, I think. Step one. Now it's like 50-50, or maybe more mystic. But we may need to hit a mystic to have the win. Uh...
Well, there are some outs we're guessing copper. This just is it. Um, now it doesn't matter. Right? I should check, but no. This is just good. <clears throat> I did have five missing. Okay, I kind of forgot the, the rest of it. Chad kind of messed that up. I shouldn't have played the Locust. That was me. Well, I had to play one. I had to play one. Uh, no. One province there looks pretty bad. I did get lucky on my guesses. Well, not that lucky. A little lucky. Okay, so this is like inventor, big, big inventor, big time, big time inventor stuff. What you open with is not 100% clear to me. Um, you can go with the little slower trashers, though that seems a little scary. I'm going to try the doctor. One kind of nice thing about the doctor is maybe you just finish trashing before they are messing with you. That part is pretty cool. It's 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 gotta be copper. I'm not I mean the summon stuff is nice. It is nice to be able to afford summon surely. And I guess they're just going for a big crash. If you draw your whole deck, it's not you. What it, you know? What's the big trash? Just doing the thing. So I should be able to get <clears throat> Margrave here. Man, if we had found the doctor, we either get the animal fair or we trash, you know, we finish trashing out there and it looks very tough IMO now they're doing the summon stuff which is fun um just don't know if it'll I don't know how many inventors there will be left by the time they get around to that I'm also getting pretty good hands for the... Yeah, see, this is a problem. Isn't this the wrong summon? Don't you summon the encampment? Maybe you don't care too much, but... <clears throat> so, there aren't actually hoppers. It would just be playing Dr... For the sake of finding the Margrave, there might be a copper. Um, it's probably worth it though. To try and find the, we do get a trash, so that's cool. Um, what do we want to do this?
We could get a silver. I guess the silver's not enough. That's okay though. I mean, we still get a use, get some use out of it for sure. Um, you just do double mining village. I mean, it could be encampment, but. The, the the their issue their issue is always going to be they're just nowhere near gain and play because you have to buy 30 margraves before you are there you get a good doctor which was far from guaranteed I didn't summon anything. I guess I didn't. I kind of messed up here a little bit. Well, I mean, that's fine. So, Yeah, we could have done Animal Fair, maybe. Well, Animal Fair at this point doesn't make a huge amount of sense. So, do we just do double mining village and try to get... We do Margrave. Do we have enough... We don't have to play the Doctor. This should be pretty well G. And then they buy a forager. All right. I don't. I mean, it can work out. What Shad did can work out. But uh, anyway, we have five one there. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you all another time.